Hola amores, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to give old, outdated vases and vessels a cheap and easy facelift. We'll transform these items from this to this in just a few steps. For this project, you'll need acrylic paint in your choice of colors, some cheap brushes that I got on Amazon, any container to mix your paint, and the star of the show, baking powder. Yes, baking powder, trust the process. You can use any containers that you have laying around to mix your paint in. I usually recycle food jars, such as jars from jellies or sauces, to hold paint when I'm doing these type of projects. But you can actually use those jars and give them this face lift as well, and it'll give them a brand new life. I combined these two colors to give the beige a little warmth and I added the baking powder a teaspoon at a time while checking the consistency. And I applied it to this particular vase, which has lots of texture. And I have to say, now that I look back, I wish for this particular vase, I would have applied thicker coats. But now I know, it's all trial and error. I love upcycling and giving something old a new purpose or look. Upcycling is also known as creative reuse, which is the process of transforming useless or unwanted products into new materials of better quality or for better environmental value. The purpose of upcycling is reducing waste and improving the efficiency of the resources. Also, you're letting your creative juices flow and making a one-of-a-kind piece if you think about it. And I bet you have at least one item in your house that could benefit from a facelift. And this is a perfect project. And if you don't, you can find cheap ones at your local Goodwill and give those a facelift. The idea is to combine your paint with the baking powder to create a thick consistency which when applied to the surface of your vessel or vase it will create a ceramic like texture. I start off with about an ounce of paint and one to two tablespoons of baking powder but while you mix it you'll be able to tell if you need to add a little more to thicken it. This is an idea that I saw on Giovanna Vandersteel's Instagram when she upcycled a ton of vases into this beautiful looking terracotta pieces with chalk paint and I'll add her Instagram info below so you can check out her work. My next item was this glass vase and these two candle holders in the background which I hoped I could mimic the look of concrete with gray paint and it was a total success. This was one of my favorite outcomes. I suggest that you paint in the same direction for a better looking finish. We will be doing two coats in total and I will dry the items overnight between coats. And finally, I played with color and combined orange, yellow, and brown for terracotta vibes and it was a total success. There are actually paints that are already in really pretty terracotta colors, which I'll link below. They're absolutely beautiful and come in a range of tones, but I played with what I had at hand. I'll also link the paints that I used below. With this color, I painted an old Bath & Body Works candle jar. This is it. I removed the label and you know, it's really easy to remove the wax itself. You place your candle in the freezer for a couple of minutes and the wax will pop right off. I also gave this flower pot new life by painting it with the terracotta color and I have to say I will definitely be turning a bunch of random items around the house into terracotta creations because I loved the way this looked. I let them dry overnight and look how good they look with just one coat. But I added a second coat because a couple of them needed it and I painted it down a little thicker this time to add texture.
and here's the result i mean they look pretty dope right i will show you some photos of how i styled them around the house and there you have it please like and subscribe and let's become virtual friends i've linked a bunch of my info down below and if you recreate this diy please tag me on instagram and i honestly can't wait to see how creative you all are thank you so much for watching besos